name is Adi Legacy, and welcome to the first live stream in forever. Uh, very happy to be back. I actually was kind of uh, forced into a creative slump because I couldn't really do anything. My scanner was broken for a while, so I didn't do any game work. So we're finally back. Anyway, today we're going to be working on Shattered Realms Mortal Tale and just in general art, um, game development, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get started and turn on the music. Alright, that seems alright. Okay, let's go over to my Twitch. Pull that up. So let's go ahead and get the monitor started. Okay, we should be good to go then. So what we're doing first off, before we get into the more complicated cutscene that I need to work on, um, I'm actually going to be working on this guy right here, which is a seven winged dragon. Now, let's see. We need to add an alpha channel. We're gonna do this. The reason why I do that is to allow the image to be transparent so I can use it inside my game. This isn't just concept art. Right, clean that up, and oh, I believe that is also. Let's see, does it look right? Oh no, it doesn't look right. Select none. Huh. Did I miss a few things here? Huh. I'll just leave it. Alright, so the default color is going to be a golden sort of color. Let's go with something like this, I think. Yep, that looks about right. Alright, we're going to do a darker color. Oh, I actually did miss a little thing. Something tells me I should have used my sharpen tool. Alright, let's go all the way back. Oh, now so let's do forward. Uh, and now go back, and we're good to go. Alright, so now we need to go to threshold. Oh boy. There, now you're at least not so messy. Okay. 
Still pretty messy, but at least that's now under control. Still need to figure out what color the wings are going to be, though. The reason why I went back on that previous design was the uh, line art was too fuzzy, so I needed to clean it to make it all sharp. See, there's no little white specks on it now. Unfortunately, it doesn't really help with the black dots, which are about just as abundant. As for the wing color, I'm not quite clear on what I want to do with that. I'm thinking either make it this dark color or make it even darker. <sighs> Great start. Yeah, I'm giving up on that. There we go. Let's try this. Yeah, that works pretty well, actually. No, you silly goose. Stop, please. <sighs> okay. Zoom. Not too much. There's always this little annoying thing that this thing, uh, that this software ends up doing, which is really aggravating. Um, and that is that it will choose the worst times to do so, and it will zoom completely out. So I have to zoom in really close, then I have to zoom in really far back out, so on and so forth, and it drives me nuts. Cause it won't stop doing it once it does, so that's always not fun. And this, that was the easiest part of this uh, session. We get to color it in completely. Okay, it's going to take me a lot more time if I just click on this. So why didn't So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go and attempt to go by my old, my new style of uh, design and go by, go like this and try to shade it like this rather than my old style. We'll see how that works though. Probably takes a little bit longer to do than the old, old one does, but when it comes to down to actually uh, being higher quality, that's still up in the air. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and color this. Anyway, after uh, I finish these two art pieces I have to do, um, I will actually be getting into the actual game development section of this stream. So hopefully this won't take too long. It's definitely not going to be an easy thing, but we'll definitely get a lot done today at a bare minimum.
right? Should be around about right. Anyway, this is a very rare kind of dragon that occurs in the game. And so basically what it kind of serves as is it's a uh, it's basically a legendary creature you can run into and if you if you beat it and you happen to find a gold one, then you get good luck. But if you uh, find a different colored one, you might end up actually getting bad luck. So these things uh, will randomly spawn on mountains, for example, because they're a high altitude kind of dragon. And they will, in general, not show up, though, unless it's a very specific moment in time. So, you can travel up a high mountain and still find, well, nothing. This is mainly because they usually don't come down from the surface, very, from the sky, very often. They actually only show up usually around a period of time known as the Golden Moon. Which is going to be something along the lines of a monthly event or something like that. So, in terms of the actual game, of the actual game, uh, after a certain amount of time has elapsed, you will actually experience a golden moon, and that's the only time you will actually be able to find all these guys. That's the plan at the moment. But in terms of actually uh, fighting one, I wouldn't recommend messing with these guys right off the bat after starting the game up. You're probably going to get your butt handed to you because, well, in most general uh, circles, dragons are considered to be the upper tier of monsters in some cases. Sometimes not, I don't know. But uh, you don't go messing around with dragons in my game in my games, typically speaking, because they're the kind of thing that likes to chew you up and spit out your bones and then eat your bones for breakfast. So yeah, you don't want to fight dragons until you're actually ready for it, otherwise you might find yourself in a world of hurt. Move this out a little bit. Okay, so next thing we're going to focus on is this. this a darker color like that all right that looks pretty good
Uh, this is a nice song. It's also kind of funny in its own way. Looks pretty good. Let's make sure. All right. I'm actually kind of liking this style quite a bit for this dragon. Pretty sure it's gonna look pretty nice. Okay, next step is going to be doing the opposite. Why did I do that actually? Could have just left it alone.
<sighs> okay, let's see. Let's get you cleaned up a little bit. Seems pretty good. sure what to make of this. Quite yet. This one should be interesting to uh, do. I completely missed one. I completely missed one. I oh, I'm just, I'm dumb. I am dumb. Completely missed one. Great job. AOD, you are a genius. Give yourself a medal. Okay, there we go. Now well, that's correct. Select. None. I think we'll just leave that one as it is. Well, aside from the little bit of editing, we done. Shading. <sighs> okay. It'll probably need some touch ups, but it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, let's go ahead and just do some. Clicks the wrong tool again. So now I'm just going to do some uh, touch-ups to clean this bad boy up a little bit. Let's move him out so he doesn't look so well spotty. Alright, let's do this. And I'm going to apply some dodge and burn tools on this as well. Kind of adding my old style in here a little bit, but I kind of feel like I need a little bit more shading to really be flushed out. The monsters, they don't need to look quite as anime like as my anime sort of characters, so we can afford to be, you know, a little bit uh, more realistic of these guys. But since the main characters are more anime-like, they don't need shading as much. But these guys, oh yeah, they need their shading. Make them look intimidating. Or at least actually cool. I don't know what the correct terms would be for this. Welcome to Ramble- uh, Sorry. Welcome to Bad English and Rambling Hour. I guess I get too excited. Sometimes I forget to check myself. Okay. So, actually, um, one of the things that I'm going to be working on today is actually the system in which this bang can even get spawned in in the first place. Um, we're probably not going to finish that today, though. We'll probably just start on it at some point. Okay. 
And just so everyone knows, I usually will take some sort of, um, lunch break, so usually expect that in my streams, because, yeah, that's pretty much going to happen if I do a long stream, and I'm hoping to do a quite long stream. I will probably take a break sometime after 12 or 11. It's already 12.30 now. 11, really? Sometime between 12 and 1, I'm going to take a break. So, basically once I start feeling hungry, I'm going to actually stop and take a break. Then I'll come back and we'll continue this again. I'm hoping to finish this and maybe get started on the uh, cutscenes before I actually end up going AFK. But we should probably get this completely done before that happens. As currently I'm not that hungry, so we should be in the clear for at least one whole design. But yeah, we'll be working on stuff like the time system, we'll be working on various things, mostly bonus content. Bonus areas, stuff like that. Just bonus, bonus, bonus. We're not quite in a position to start working on the storyline right now. We're not that caught up. Well, heck, we're not even close to caught up on the storyline. We've been behind for about a couple of months. Yeah, we're gonna need to apply some, uh, heavier shy. I mean, he looks nice and all, he just needs a little extra touches. And I'm gonna see if I can't draw scales this time for him. I actually do have a method of drawing scales that I'm quite fond of. We'll just have to see if it works in this situation. I don't know if he'll look better or not without scales. We will honestly just have to see for ourselves. Actually, we do have a few ideas where this guy will be, so um, I haven't actually balanced him yet because, well, he's a dragon and they're powerful beings. You're not gonna fight a dragon straight away, so I wasn't exactly focused on this guy when I started working on the game. But we might get to do some work on him later today. That just all depends on what we get done. The uh, artist who usually does characters and stuff, she's currently working on the cutscenes for the uh, next mini boss. And once I get those from her, uh, we will be able to actually do some work live on the uh, game cutscenes. Let's 
get this bad boy cleaned up. I'm sorry if this is not terribly interesting, me just smudging the image to make it cleaner. Uh, we won't have to put up with that too much longer, and we still have some stuff to do. No, I've heard my art ones compared to like pastels or something. I don't know if that's true in terms of how it looks, but that's how one person has described it. Right, we've cleaned up most of the freaking lines, finally. So I think we're almost good to go for some extra shading. Let's add another round of shading. So it looks a little more well balanced. There we go. I actually kind of like that. The best kind of coloration I can imagine for a golden type of these dragons is actually the color of autumn leaves, like an orangish color. I kind of like that idea for these guys, like an autumn orange, or an autumn brown or something. That's kind of how I imagine these leaves, well, leaves, <laughs> excuse me, these wings. <coughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me. But yeah, that's actually how I came up with this dragon. I was kind of like chilling outside, you know, relaxing. And there's these um, leaves in our backyard that have like uh, these mo these two leaves on each side of the um, main stem. And it's a really nice looking plant. Well, not nice looking plant, but nice looking leaves. So I, na so my natural wild imagination, out of nowhere, decided that I wanted to play pretend with those things and turn it into an actual dragon. Yeah, that's how my mind works. It's the most random thing you'll ever hear, but it's true. That's kind of how my brain works. I find something that, that looks visually appealing to me, and I find some manner of turning it into something interesting. Because I'm usually quite bored when I'm doing that. But yeah, that's kind of the inspiration for these dragons. Leaves. I kid you not. Inspired by a leaf. It might have been during autumn when I actually came up with this creature as well, so... The brown, it's kind of like a tribute, I guess, to that. Let's shade this a little bit like that. Hey, welcome to the chat. Okay, let's see. What else do I need to do? Maybe 
do a little bit there and gonna have to clean that up actually right there <laughs> <sighs> That's burn, not the dodge. Uh. I'm wonderful at making mistakes like that. Do it all the time, actually. It's really annoying. Probably need to smudge this color a little bit. So, what do you think? Do you like how it looks? Those eyes. Yeah, with these uh monsters, it's not as easy to work with them. It's a little bit more irritating to try and get them to look the same level of polish as my usual stuff. So I just match the line so they at least have a level of quality to them. Oh look, ghoul eyes. Last thing I need to see. Let's hurry up and give him actual eyes now before he scares the soul out of people. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, let's try again. Let's hurry up before his soulless eyes scare someone to death. Alright. We'll try it like this. And that's probably not going to look good either. Yep. And we're back to the ghoul eyes once again. Maybe we can try, I don't know, something a little less like that. I, guess. I don't know. Maybe we can just try like beady eyes or something. Oh great, it still looks like a ghoul. Okay, let's not do that either. You know what, maybe it's not a good idea to give this dragon, I don't know, black... whatever you call that portion of the eye, let's just replace it with white. 
Oh great, now it's even worse. White ghoul eyes. That's totally not going to be even more creepy. Alright. I think it's just exchanging different forms of creep. Alright, now let's give it pupils before someone freaks out. I don't think I I don't think it's possible for me to be satisfied with this design. <sighs> nope, nope, nope. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Let's try something else. Clearly white isn't working. Or black. So let's try I don't know. Well that looks too much like the Great start. I can't even figure out what eye color you want it to be. Okay, that's officially how it's gonna look. Alright. Not even gonna bother with anything else. Okay. Let's see. I think that's about right. Let's go ahead and pull up the old one. Alright. Is the old one in here? Let's hope it's in here. Yes. So that's what the old one looks like. I imagine that's going to be like a uh, actual step up. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely so much better. I like this one so much more. Alright, we're going to give it a new layer. Alright, and now this is the creative portion of the event where we just... Bam color until we find a nice background for it. Alright, now we get to have fun with the background. I was wondering. Yeah, this is a portion of the live stream where I actually have fun with what I'm doing. Trying to come up with a background that looks nice.
Alright, we'll try to burn around the edges of this forest, try and give it a... This was the wrong choice of color for a landscape, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Probably doesn't help that I was doing that, but let's try dodge again now that it's... Nope, still a bad idea. Abort. Okay, let's try adding a supernova in here. Last time I checked, the sun was not blue. Anything cool I could do with this design? I don't think it. I don't know. Nah, can't do anything. All right. Well, maybe I can add like a drop shadow. Let's try that. Though half the time this never works. Ever. See, it does that. Wait. Actually, it did it right for once. I don't know why it moved. But oh, what it did is it made it smaller, apparently. I don't know why it does that. Let's change that now. There we go. Okay. Hmm, if we can give it a drop effect. That yeah, works pretty well, actually. Alright. So I'm just going to quickly save this as a... Uh, ...designed, and we'll actually put this in the game. Alright, so then we're going to delete that. And we're going to save this once we merge this down. Alright, now we need to go ahead and look up what a typical one of these designs is. So I know how much to shrink this down. If I get it, because if I get it wrong, I'm gonna have to do it again. Shrink this whole thing back down to Alright, what's a roughly about the same size monster? Okay, let's see. You declare it's about. Okay, we're going to want to scale image to about... three five, And we'll make this one about... three nine. Let's see if that's still... I think it works. Uh, let's go ahead and crop the majority of this out. So it's just the okay, that works. I think. Okay, we're gonna save this again, and we're gonna save it in the RPG XP folder and graphics battlers, and we'll save it as a page. Okay, now we have one final question. Does that actually work? Let's find out. Alright, we're going to go to the database. Assembly Dragon, let's replace you with you. Well, 
Only question is, does this work? It is too big. Yeah, that's what I figured it would happen. Alright, let's do this the old fashioned way so we don't get the same mistake. Alright, and... Auto crop image. And we'll go ahead and crop it a little bit more, like that. And we will save this time and see how that works. Okay. That's almost too small, actually. Uh, I think it could be bigger. So let's actually try it out again. This is the one part I don't like because that falls. Okay. I think the uh, width needs to be get the width. I think the width is fine and all that. Okay, this is a little too close to... Uh, this is always frustrating to figure out. I think that should be fine. We'll scale it one more time. No, not scale. Uh, we want to auto crop one more time save it and see if that works this time it still feels too small What do you think? Do you think he's too small? Do you think he should be bigger? I, I can't quite figure it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's... Okay. This is gonna be a little bit of a fun challenge. Figuring out how to make him big, but not too big. Because <laughs> he don't, doesn't need to be so big that he fills the entire screen. Well. Actually, I'm gonna try to get something like that. Uh, let's, let's go for about that. And try that, actually. Image. Let's try that one. That should be bigger. I think it should be bigger. Okay. And if we do that again, it should be. Okay. So now he's looking a little bit bigger now. Uh, can't get quite any bigger for ver vertically wise. Well, I could, but it would be in danger of making him. Should he be all the way across, though? Like from about here to about over here? Because I think I can just make him a bit longer, and that won't affect the pixels too much. Uh. 
Okay, we'll try it one more time and we'll make him a bit bigger. Okay, let's see. It will allow him to be... Okay, actually that's... About as far as I should probably make him. All right, let's see how that looks. Uh, I'll crop image, save. Now it's probably gonna be a lot bigger. Okay, he definitely looks a bit bigger now. Oh yeah, and I forgot that this plays whenever he shows up. <laughs> okay. I think that's good, I guess. Definitely the wrong back I don't back for him. Yeah, still wrong. That on the other hand looks more believable. That looks about right. Yeah, I like how it looks actually right now. I love that music. Yeah, I think that'll work for what we're doing. Sadly, he's not actually, uh... He's not... balanced yet. Okay, let's check out his color Asian and see how that looks. Green... Ugh. Sorry, 
certainly a nice red color there. Okay, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's not actually like programmed or anything. It says for plant. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fix that insult right there. All right. We got one more graphic to do. Okay, one minute while I go ahead and post the uh, concept art to some websites real quick. I won't be too long, and I better turn on that music before people get bored. Alright, there we go. Uh, submit to DeviantArt. This will not take very long. Stupid auto entry thing. Alright, that should be about right. I'm not going to spend too much time on social media here. Okay, back into things. Let's see how long it takes me to find the other one. Oh, it put me right back where I need to be. Huh. focus on one thing at a time here. So in case you're wondering what this all is, um, this is the uh, cutscene that I'm going to be working on. Okay, and this is all not quite ready, so we're good. Don't forget to use fresh food. Alright, now let's make sure to test. Okay, that's good. These are basically just cutscenes for the game, stuff like that. Let me pull up a uh, reference so I know what I'm doing. Alright. 
right there's my reference. Alright, so now we can actually get started on the coloring. So these weird guys are the uh, cultists. They're not nice people. Let's just put it that way. What are we going to do for this background? I think we're going to do a red. Radiance are always fun. Let's try this. See how that looks. Of course, I forget to use my head. Good way to do this, except uh, Alright, now we can do what we need to do. And I forget, once again, add alpha channel. There we go. Alright, with that out of the way, we can get started on this. So these guys have a purplish gray sort of color for their. Uh... Jeez, this guy's head is a little too fat still. <laughs> Historically speaking, in the uh, universe where these guys are from, uh, purple is considered a very bad color. Like, really, really bad color. There's a specific reason why people don't like the color. Um, it has to do with a event that happened many, many thousands of years ago in the uh, timeline of SRMT. And people haven't quite forgotten that, because it was kind of like an end of the world thing. You tend to not forget that kind of thing when you uh, nearly die from an end of the world scenario, anyway. But yeah, if there was a color to scream bad guy in my universe, it would be purple. Purple equals bad, mostly. It doesn't mean evil, it just means, well, you're probably not the most peaceful person. Since if you're wheeling that, that color. Interestingly enough, though, uh, the color purple is uh, associated with royalty also in some cultures back in the ancient times. Because purple is a rare color. Very rare. Not a rare color now, but it used to be like really rare to find color dyes that were purple. So there was quite a 
market for it, and you had to be like a noble guy to have access to purple stuff. Just a little bit of uh, information in case someone never knew that. Okay, I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit, and then we'll get back down into things. Oh yeah, but you should have seen how these guys used to look like uh, when Brooke first drew this cutscene. It was actually kind of hilarious what she did with them. Like this one guy was like really bulbous headed. I had to trim his head a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't think I trimmed it enough because it's still kind of bold, like. But this guy was nothing compared to the uh, one further down on the uh, cutscene, it was like quite the funny thing to see. I believe I showed it to Michael, I don't know if I ever showed it to you. I was just in general like uh, Brooke, I don't think that's how a head looks. I've actually heard from a few people, well, I've listened to a few people on the comment section of Mike's uh, live streams, and they like to uh, use live, stream live streams like podcasts, so I don't feel too surprised that you're doing that, so no worries there. I like to listen to Michael when he's uh, working and I'm working, <laughs> and it actually helps me sometimes.
Yeah, I love the music, music too. But whenever you do get a chance to uh, recruit Eskar and play the game and stuff, you should probably uh, talk to Gardas, the uh, officer standing next to the innkeeper. Uh, mainly because he always has something interesting to say whenever Eskar's around. And also if you play a mage, uh, he actually does not like you to begin with. Because there are actually a few people in the town who will also display that kind of dislike toward mages. Just add a little bit of dynamics to the uh, social interactions with the characters, I guess. Banged my chin on my knee, and that wasn't pleasant. Ow. And you definitely won't uh, just encounter Gardas once. They're actually. Uh, Eskar and Gardas actually show up. Well, if you have Eskar in your team and you continue on your journey, uh, not only will you meet. Gardas again, but they all always have a bit of a rivalry with each other. They really don't like each other. It's one of the better moments of the game, I think. Whenever people have Eskar and they meet Gardas, there's usually something that they want to have. Well, they usually always have words with each other, like, eh. Bigger, bigger, bigger. But I try to be funny with the bigger rank. I definitely remember her name. Oh, hey. Jonathan. Yeah, now I Yeah, I am the worst of names and stuff when I first start out. Sorry. It. I was like, where was. Where have I heard that name before? Anyway, nice to see ya. Anyway, I'm working on cutscenes for the game at the moment. 
case you're wondering what's going on here. Okay, that one is still. Let's fix that one. Anyway, thanks. Alright. Oops, we're going to want you. Unfortunately, I won't be able to actually implement this entire cutscene. Mainly because Brooke's still working on a few more important parts of it. I'd rather not have to stop halfway through it. So I'm just doing the ones I already have, and I'm waiting on her to get the others done. Basically, what I'm doing here is just getting some stuff out of the way. So I have less to do when she finally gets the stuff done. done with this uh, fortune, then we'll be doing the next one. Now once we do a little bit more cleaning up and we should be done.
Okay, that's one basically done. See if I can make a decent building in structure for once. So now we're going to want to burn. I'm essentially just making bricks, is what I'm trying to do. This is actually looking pretty good for my usual brick designs. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's kind of make it a little more dark on here. Just darken this a bit. Alright, I believe we can call that one complete cutscene. Let's see. Let's see, actually. Just expect. Yeah, let's not do that. Right? Give me 
a minute to do this up. Let's always do a minute. Because with the scale image. It's 50. Right now that's scaled, we can send it to the RPG Maker files. No way it'll work. Okay, rewind me for time. Let's see if this actually works. I'm actually trying to see if I can get all the way back to the uh, pay the initial form of this before I started. Holy crap! I actually did it. I don't have to open up the new file again. That's all right. So this is the actual thing I'm working on. These are different scenes you're seeing right here. All right. Uh. Next scene. Thank goodness. On to the next one. Let's see. Check my social media. Okay. Not what I wanted. Exactly. Right, let's try that. No, wait, that's not what I wanted. Ah, gosh, darn it.
way to do this probably like this. Select float. New layer. It took me forever, actually, to figure out how to, uh... Oops. It took me forever just to figure out how to actually... It took me forever how to use layers on this program, actually. Mainly because it works so much differently from Photoshop, I wasn't actually used to to where I'm doing, so kinda got weird. Like, okay, how do I do this? Finally figured it out, but it was a pain in the butt until I did. Probably should not have had this character on the same level, actually. Gosh darn it, that might be a complication. Alright, so what I'll do is I will actually color her first. So I need to actually get her concept dart back out. MDDB. I'm gonna have to clean this one up a bit. Wait. Oh gosh, darn it. I didn't use threshold. I am an idiot. Oh, let's get This one's going to be a little bit of a pain in my butt. Not possible, but it's
Thanks a lot, bro. about that. I made everything so much harder on myself. I should have remembered to use fresh hold on this image. It takes a lot longer to design something when you have little white spots to clean up. I'm going to go ahead and plug this section into the layer so I don't have to deal with confusing things. Why did I not check to do the threshold? I'm just trusting myself right now because I didn't even bother to check. Okay, now we can actually learn.
And there it happens. There it happens. I hate when it does that. It aggravates me so much. It drives me crazy. And I really wish it wouldn't do that to me. <sighs> okay, don't freak out. Okay, I won't freak out as long as it doesn't do that again. Because I really hate when it does that multiple times. It happens multiple times a stream, usually, actually, so... Yeah, get ready to laugh at my misery. I assume you're referring to control select. That's how it usually works, but controls that's basically control save on this one. Which really saving won't actually help. Let's zoom out. Thank you. 
Oh, that's way too big of a burn. Let's not do that. Okay, we are going to want to do that. Get over here to box. All this time, and I've been spending my time working on just her. That's kind of sad. Okay, Okay, let's do myself a favor. There we go. Now I can actually work on this. I'm basically trying different special effects with uh, this one style. A banner for Goldenbine. I don't know what gold mine is.
see what happens with this. Okay, so first off, we would want to get rid of the. Oh, you. We probably want to get rid of the. Not on this layer. 